sticking out of the top of his head, bro. We can't let him go. Got him. Look at this crab. Here we go. Ooh. We got a low tide right now. That's good though. We did see something when we walked up. It almost looked like a stingray with its tail cut off. Can't really tell, but I'm gonna approach it and see if it's maybe still alive and it's just injured or she may be gone. Where is it, David? Oh, that is a stingray, bro. That's a stingray. Dude, I think it's dead. Oh my gosh, it is. That's a stingray right there. I'm not sure why she died, but yeah, she's dead. It's a nice stingray, man, dang. Well, we'll let nature take its course and I'm sure a shark or something will end up finishing that stingray off. So right now we're on a sandbar. If you don't know what a sandbar is, pretty much all it is is where the water gets really shallow and it ends up making like a little beach area and you're able to walk on it. A bunch of sea creatures are hanging out on it. Pretty much everything and look right here. You actually got a nice little hermit crab right there. So cool because like we could come out here one of these days, pick out a bunch of these. They come in all different colors and sizes and bring them back for the saltwater pond. We definitely need a big old cleanup crew in there. So if you guys want to see that, like this video. All this is covered probably another like four feet when it is high tide. So when it gets low like this, you're able to see pretty much everything. Yo, what is that? Look at this crab. Bro, look at this crab. Such a cool looking crab. I got to get him. Look at him. We can't let him go. Got him. Look at this crab. Bro. Look at him. Look at the colors on that thing though. If you guys know what kind of crab that is, let us know in the comments. So crazy looking. Look at him. Spitting water out. What the? There he is, right into the sand. Not only do you have a bunch of little invertebrates, but you have a bunch of different uh, aquarium fish that hang out on the sandbar from puffer fish, trigger fish, wrasse, everything kind of makes their home here. Look at all those tide pools up there. Not sure how we're gonna get over there because there's like a seven foot drop off right here, but we're gonna find our way over there. Dude, when I came out here the other day, I wasn't recording. Sometimes I'll just come out to scope out the area before I go and film a video. And when I came out the other day, there was conch and starfish everywhere. Absolutely insane. I've always wondered what these are. I have no clue, but I see them all the time. It's pretty much like an underwater anthill. If you guys know what that is, let us know in the comments. I gotta figure this out. We now made it to the tide pools. We got around there. Oh, look at that little guy. What's up, buddy? That's one thing about the tide pools. You'll find birds everywhere because little like fish and vertebrates get stuck up in the tide pools and it's an easy meal for guys like that. Oh, look at that. Is that what I think it is? So right there, we got a closed, oh, he's open. He just opened. Look at that. Little clam right there. We're gonna stick him right back in his hole. But that's so sick. What is this? I think we just found eggs. Look at this. There is so much different things that you can find out here just with salt water. So not everything we know, but there's a lot of people watching. So if anybody watching knows, let us know in the comments. But that's definitely, I'm thinking, some sort of eggs. Bro, I saw these last time and I, can, I don't know what they are. It's just so much different stuff on these tide pools that I've never seen before. Like, what is that thing? Let's see what's under this log. Oh, what the? There's a little crab. Oh, there's two giant crabs. What are those? Bro, these crabs are purple. I have no clue what kind they are. But if you look closely in the light, that thing's purple. Almost looks like a little baby stone crab, but I think, yeah, you know what? I think it is. It is a little baby stone crab. So those guys are protected. 
we're not gonna bother him. We'll just let him do his thing. I do wanna move him back where he was with his partner so they could stay together. So that's what we're gonna do. And he's all good. Oh yeah, boys. Let's see what's in here. We either got a big old hermit, oh yep. Yeah. So right here, this is exactly what I was saying. Right here, this is originally a conch shell. But if you look, there's a big old hermit crab living in here. And usually 90% of the time, they fight off the conch and they end up taking over their shell. Look at these two guys right here, they're fighting. Look at them, we got a little hermit crab fight. But look at the two different shells. So that originally is a snail shell and that originally is a little hermit crab shell. So I don't know why they're fighting. Maybe he's trying to go into this shell. They're all attached. This guy has like half a shell he's using. So crazy, and another one, all in this one little spot. So cool. <laughs> no, 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 no. Mr. Krabs, bro. It's all right though, that's, that's just part of nature because whatever is hungry out there and didn't get a meal today, this will be his meal. So we'll just leave that there. What is that thing? What is that, bro? There is no way. Oh my, look at him in there. See him? That's a big old hermit crab. I can't believe we haven't found any conch. What the? There's a little baby hermit crab on top of him. <laughs> That's so sick. What's that little guy? It's actually a big guy. Oh, a little guy next to him. Oh, right there's a conch. Look at his eyeballs. I don't know how well you can see, but right in the left corner there, that's his eyeballs, and that right there is a conch. Look at his, you see it, David? Yeah. See his eyeball? Yeah. He has two of them. Okay. They're looking at us. Oh, that's so sick, he's coming out right now. Oh my. He's like, he's like, put me back down. All right, buddy. We're gonna put you back down. Look at how majestic that is. <laughs> oh my dude, he's strong. He just pushed that completely. He's, he's like, uh, leave me alone. So that's what we're gonna do. Put him back in his little tide pool and let him go on with his day. I think I just found gold. What the? You seen that? That's a pig. Or a bat. In the United in the United States of America. It's a quarter. A weird looking quarter. I've never seen Whoa. Yeah. That's an animal, right? What the like a little bat or a panda or something. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna keep this though. So we'll put it in my pocket. Oh my god. That is sick. It's yellow and purple. Bro, that's gorgeous. And like, it's just so cool because these are all God's creatures. He creates these. Like, who do you, how do you think artwork comes out that sick in nature? It's God. Yo, he's right there. I'm gonna get him. I actually got a sick <laughs> crab. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Ow! He got me. All right, let me run the, let me go put these in the bucket just so we have them. What are we looking at here? What in the, is that thing moving? Yes. Dude, it's some sort of like sea slug. That's so cool though. Dude. He's breathing out of the top of his head, bro. Yeah, that's, that's, I, I don't know what the heck that is. If you guys know, let us know in the comments. That is weird. And I'm definitely not touching it. There's no way I'm touching that thing. It looks like algae moving. What the? Some sort of sea slug, I think, dude. I don't, I'm not exactly sure. I'm not gonna disturb him though, just cause I'm not sure what kind of animal this is. It could be poisonous for all we know. So uh, not gonna touch him, but cool to look at. Look at all the baby fish throughout these tide pools right here. So sick, you got little Sergeant Majors. Little puffer fish right there. I'm gonna get him on the GoPro. Oh, there he goes. This is epic. 
Oh, guys, what in the? Oh my gosh. Bad Where? Shrimps. Two of them. Where? Oh, two of them, right? Oh! In a fish head! What the? <laughs> <laughs> Dude! Two of them. Oh, look at the shrimp on there. Look at those shrimp. Dude! Look at those shrimp. You got like um, fire shrimp and baby coral banded. Yo, you think I can grab it? Just this net. It's not really the best thing. I have a better chance. I want that other shrimp bread. Right there. two of them. There is? There's three of them. All right, we're gonna try to get one, but let's try to get these coral bandits. I'm gonna have to put the GoPro down and spook them into the net. Oh my gosh, we got them. Look at that. Guys, we got little coral banded shrimp in the net, and then we have more shrimp right up under there. So sick. Oh my, bro, look how many are under there. There's more. Oh my God. Bro, look at all the shrimp. Guys, I don't know how well you can see, but we have coral banded shrimp and all different species of shrimp throughout these rocks. This is absolutely insane. I'm gonna get these guys in the bucket and then let's see if we can get some more. Look at that shrimp right there. He's got like little tiger stripes on him. Oh, and he just jumped out, but we did get these two beautiful coral banded shrimps. We'll add them to one of our aquariums can't pass up on these guys they're so sick and they do an awesome job cleaning up your aquarium there you go bro there are so many coral banded there's another one right here I'm just gonna go through these rocks and try to spook him out he's coming out this side tell me if he does That stone crab right there. Yeah, for real. Oh, nice. We got him. Whew, that's three coral bandits down. We're gonna try to get some more because uh, we just hit the honey hole right now. There's another coral bandit right here in this rock. Look, he's coming out. He's a baby. Bro, look how tiny this thing is. I'm just gonna grab him. Look how tiny this coral banded shrimp is. He's on my finger. Okay, so four coral bandits down. Really, really small one right here. Um, but it's cool, because now we're gonna have like a little family. We're not just leaving one behind. They're all gonna stay together. We gotta do this again though. This is crazy. So much life throughout these rocks. Epic. So we got the drip line going down from the tank right here into this bucket. We're gonna give them about 45 minutes to fully acclimate. In the meantime though, we're gonna grab one of these crabs and feed the mantis shrimp. I got a nice sized blue crab right here. We're gonna see if mantis shrimp is hungry. Loves these guys. Oh, oh dude, he's gonna get stung for right here. Oh boys, oh boys. Oh, gone. <laughs> That's a nice meal right there. That's a natural meal. He hasn't had a live crab in a while. Absolutely loves them. Nothing beats a live meal. So he's a pretty happy mantis shrimp, but uh, he's just gonna munch on that for about a couple hours here until it's completely gone. Alrighty, these guys are good to go. Now, before I add them to the tank, I wanna go over something real quick. You're probably like, where's the mini puffer fish? We actually moved him back into the quarantine pond along with our other puffer fish, just because I noticed he wasn't doing so well in here after like a week. He kept getting like sucked onto this uh, little overflow. So I guess there's too much current in here. Puffer fish kind of just glide with the water. So I moved him back into the quarantine pond for now. I'm thinking once we have the mini pond set up, we'll move both the puffers into that mini pond. And they love the pond because there's like flow in certain spots and then no flow in other spots. So that's probably why we'll move him to the mini pond. But for now, he's in the quarantine pond. He's doing good. Coral banded shrimp are looking good. I think they're ready to go. What I'm gonna do is just grab them with my hand. Sometimes the nets, their little claws will get stuck and come off. So we're just gonna do it just like this. Here they go. <laughs> that's so cool. And we actually have a little coral banded back there. So there's gonna be a total of five in here along with two arrow crabs, 
our panther grouper somewhere throughout these rocks, and then our starfish right back up in there. There he goes. And there you go. <laughs> Look at the little one. Arrow crabs are like checking them out. But we'll add some food in here, let these guys all eat up. They'll probably eat right away. But uh, yeah, we got a bunch of invertebrates in this tank now. And our panther grouper will actually not bother anything in this tank. None of the shrimp, none of the arrow crabs. He actually knows that they're like helping him out, keeping the tank clean and yeah, just lets them do their thing. So everything in here will do awesome. Uh, we'll give you guys updates for sure as time goes on. We'll probably, as they get bigger, move them into the saltwater pond because there's so much rock in there. It's kind of like a little ecosystem. Everything does their own thing. But uh, yeah, what a sick day today. Went out there, searched all those tide pools, even the sandbars, found some awesome creatures. We ended up grabbing a bunch of coral banded shrimp and taking them home for our aquarium. Just overall crazy day. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you guys aren't already, hit that subscribe button right down below. We do videos like this every other day. And with that being said, see y'all in the next one. See ya!